throughout the course of introduction and literature and film, I've read a variety of books, of course, and a lot of the ones that I've read, they were very fascinating to me personally. Uh, 1989, A Clockwork Orange, and Emma, they all had their own unique characteristics and were very different from the type of books I normally read, and like they had their own form of writing that I'm not very used to, so it was very fascinating to read those. But overall, if I had to choose one, it would have to be Frankenstein for my favorite overall book that we've read for this semester. Now, admittedly, I'm a little bit biased towards this one in particular, just because A, you know, I have an interest in horror, and Frankenstein is one of the most important horror novels ever made, and as well, it's the only one of these books that I've actually read before I went into this class. But even if that wasn't the case, I still feel that Frankenstein would be my overall favorite novel. And the main reason for that is that A, it is incredibly well written. Not to say that the other ones aren't, 1989, A Clockwork Orange, and Emma, and even Arena. Uh, those are well written too, but something about Frankenstein, it has this consistent pace, whereas the other four stories, I feel like they take their time to... It's hard to explain, but essentially the writing like meanders in certain points. So while Frankenstein continually has my interest in it throughout the whole story... But beyond that, I feel that Frankenstein overall is the most universal of all the stories, not just in terms of popularity, but also in the sense that that it kind of te tells how a person can lose touch of themselves for their own humanity, just like how Dr. Frankenstein does in the overall story. Because he gets lost in this idea of science and tries to make a name for himself not thinking about how that will affect the person he brings back to life, but also how that will affect the world around him. It's kind of mentioning and comparing humans to God, you know, with all the specific references to God in the novel. And it kind of shows how there are certain things that we just aren't meant to do or see. Human beings aren't supposed to have certain abilities. We aren't supposed to play God. That makes the whole story very fascinating to me. Not to mention, I feel that the characters, despite the horrible actions that especially the doctor and the monster do they are incredibly well written and there's a reason why they are so remembered even to this day and that's why overall frankenstein was my favorite novel out of all of the novels that we read for this semester however if i had to choose a least favorite out of all the stories that we've read it would have to be arena now, this isn't a bad story by any means, in my opinion. However, one problem that Arena has is just a comparison. Because 1989 clock and A Clockwork Orange, they're two of the most important novels ever made. Same with Frankenstein. And then Emma is just a very like fascinating story that kind of indifferent story because of how the character is written kind of to be in an antagonistic sense whereas arena despite being a short story it feels a lot longer than the other novels that we read this semester and just because it is very long-winded and takes and not as interesting as the other novels, just in my opinion. 
that may not be the most in depth review of a story, but that's just how I feel about it. It just didn't hold my attention very much. And in fact, when I was looking over the stories for this presentation, I forgot for a while that we even read Arena this semester, so that kind of goes to show that the story didn't leave much of an impact on me overall, which you can't say for the other stories because they are very memorable and unforgettable, I would say, as in, at least in, to some extent. And then Rita, I, I even forgot existed and I read it this semester. I know like Arena does have its place in the literature space, but overall it just didn't hold my attention very much. However, despite it all, I did enjoy reading all these stories to some extent. And I'm happy that I took this class overall. Despite this, it will be Frankenstein that I'll probably remember the most about this class.